Crocodile Shropshire Lad, and today we're going to make some delicious Korean style doenjang, short ribs, and a beautiful wild garlic kimchi fried rice. Right, so the weapon of choice to cook on today is the Kamado Joe Kettle. I'm going to cook over some beech today, so I'm just going to load that in. So we're going to be cooking fully indirect. Whilst we just wait for that to warm up, we're going to prep these ribs. So I'm just going to trim off those last little bits that the butcher's left behind. You can just rip off that sinew and that'll help the bones to slide out more easily. But also that, once it's been cooked for five, six hours, just goes really like dry, like horribly sort of papery. It's just not nice, you don't need it. To season this, this uh, magic meat dust from Tubby Tom's, it's really, really good. So liberal amounts of the rub, Gonna get that all over. Try not to waste it, obviously, because you can use it again. Gonna create a lovely bark with this. Really, all the, all the other sides need to be absolutely covered. Right, all we need to do now is load in our meter probe. There. We're good to go. Right then, in we go. See you in a few hours. Right, we're gonna set up the cook. Beef, I know it's, I think it's under other on this one, so it's a rib. And what I love is that the meter knows there's only one way to cook beef ribs and that's to have them falling apart. So there's no other options whatsoever. Hitting that, and we start to cook. Let's go. Just gonna have a little look and see how these are getting on. Oh, mate. That bark has formed so nice from the uh, the Tubby Toms. Really sort of nice crunchy bark on there. They're looking really nicely evenly cooked. The fat's rendering, you know, the bones are poking out nicely. I'm really, really happy with how this is going. Let's get on the sauce. Right, so we're gonna start off with a thumb-sized piece of ginger. It's gonna go into this pestle and mortar. We're gonna go in with four cloves of garlic. And then before we put anything else in, I'm just gonna give them a real good bash in. Okay, so that's sort of broken down into sort of garlic and ginger paste. Now we're gonna go in with doenjang. So doenjang is basically the fermented soybean paste and it's like super savory. It's almost like umami in a tub. Um, I'm gonna go in for two good spoons of that. So I'm gonna work that in. Some soy sauce and equal parts of uh, Shaoxing rice wine. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a whole lime. I always like to have a little bit of heat and a little bit of sweet too, so we're gonna go in with some hot honey. A couple of tablespoons of honey in there. And then we are basically ready to get our ribs wrapped in butcher's paper. Gonna grab our ribs, just get right across us. Like a fish slice like this is the perfect thing to kind of lift them and drop that straight on the paper lid down because we're gonna continue cooking it in a minute. So what we're gonna do now is braise them in this liquid, in this sauce. I'm just gonna gently spoon it over the top to begin with. I wanna use all of the sauce up, but just try and make sure we get it into every little nook and cranny. And these little bits of ginger and garlic are all gonna end up forming part of the bark that's on the outside of this. But also, it's gonna draw some more moisture out. So we'll have some, moist, some, some juices that will be left in this paper at the end, which we're gonna to save to, to dress the, uh, the ribs once they're sliced. And then we're gonna wrap her up and grab some more paper. Because what we wanna do is make sure we trap all of those juices inside. It's not about neatness, it's just about making sure that we kind of trap everything inside there. Put back in until she's done. We've hit temperature, she's ready to come off. So, I'm just gonna let her rest. The meter's gonna tell us how long it needs to rest. At the moment, it's saying 18 minutes, which gives me just enough time to knock up my kimchi fried rice. I'm gonna start the base of this fried rice with some garlic and some ginger. Not worried about them being too fine. We've got some of uh, Morrison's finest uh, woodland mushrooms. So we're gonna get our pan nice and hot over the fire here. I'm gonna start off with some 
sunflower oil. Okay, we're gonna go in to the pan, first of all, with the ginger and the garlic. And then very shortly, followed by the mushrooms. Get that moving around. You can buy kimchi, um, you know, from most supermarkets these days. I'm lucky enough that I met up with Nathan Davis a few weeks ago and he made this beautiful wild garlic kimchi. So what I'm gonna do is actually just really just chop this down so you get little bits of it in every mouthful. So I'm just gonna take the tips of the sprung onions off. The really sort of tops are kind of rough. And they're gonna go into the mix. I'm putting them in a bit later because I want them to remain quite crunchy. Right, now we're gonna go in with the kimchi. And kind of just work that into the mushrooms. Brown rice, you can use any cooked rice. You could even use just like a packet of rice. Sesame oil, a drizzle of that. Just this is more for flavor than anything. We're gonna use a little bit of the uh, wild garlic oil as well. Again, this is from Nathan. Look at the color of that. We're gonna hit it with a bit of soy sauce and also season again. Some frozen peas, everyone's got frozen peas. Inside, we have our wonderful looking short ribs. And then let's go straight down the middle and just see what this looks like in the middle here. See the juice is coming out of that already. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So, as I mentioned about the two different muscles, so the top muscle always cooks slightly differently. You can see the difference in them. Um, it's a bit firmer than the bottom one. The bottom really is so jiggly. Right, so I'm just going to remove the ribs because they are no longer needed. And we're just going to slice into sort of manageable pieces. Right, so we're just going to load up now some of our kimchi fried rice big old wedge with that beautiful beef rib and then finish with a beautiful drizzle of the doenjang and honey sauce, wild garlic chicken she fried rice with our beautiful doenjang hot honey barbecue beef ribs with the meter. Mm. Oh my god. That is the same. 